look at this guys I have what let's say I have two types of tables called eye color and siblings example okay now in order to generate a report I mean say my dashboard look at this so you should have some source details right so source is fine look at this exclamatory mark which means there is no content that you have selected so now what we supposed to do we supposed to choose the respective tables okay we supposed to choose what respective tables and look at this okay now you have what two set of fields in this table like in eye color table you have what name as well as eye color okay name is what let's say Adam Shirer and Ganesh example okay blue something like this these are all the two fields we have this is one table and another table what you have is okay siblings within the siblings you have two fields again name and siblings number of siblings okay now if you observe these two tables are you seeing any common data hmm? I mean any common fields do you see yes absolutely now look at this say look at this like this is the sibling table and this is the eye color table and these two are the values now you tell me guys in between these two tables what is the common column name mm -hmm. isn't isn't it so the rule here is okay the rule here is most of the time okay to perform relationship okay to perform the relationship between the tables okay we should have we should have what common columns common columns and I can put it in one more way two tables okay two tables are associated based upon PK and FK okay PK stands for primary key and FK stands for foreign key okay yes to perform the relationship between the two tables you have primary key and foreign key okay don't care about whether the source data is coming from Excel or Oracle or Teradata or SQL Server, irrespective of the case. Okay, if it is Excel, that's fine. But imagine that what if, if, if I have RDBMS database, then definitely what you have primary key and foreign key. Right, now look at this. I have a database of SQL Server with me, SQL Server database and I have an utility to interact with it like SQL Server Management Studio, okay. Fine. Example guys, okay, just an example for your better understanding. Now look at this for example I have a table called country okay and so region okay so to interact with the database we should have SQL so SQL is an interface okay between a database and to the user user in the sense in this scenario Ganesh is the user okay so that's what now look at this see over here also you have a data if you look at our you know this one see I have this is a column okay what is this this is a column one column name is name and another column name is eye color okay and this is what rows we used to call it as rows or you can also call it as list of values now look at this even here also we have what 
a table called country example okay now look at this how many columns I have two columns isn't it now if you look at here into your uh, W desktop also you have two columns and each and every column is having different set of rows okay don't you think that it is this a duplicative data no because the corresponding name is different if you say that name is also same then you might think of think it off okay now look at this you have country now if you observe here in this country table you have unique data what is this you have unique data which means it is not a repetitive value and if you look at this country table okay you have what PK PK stands for primary key which never accept duplicate values okay and country ID one instance what USA 33 in the sense France 34 in the sense Spain something like that similarly now you have what region table also look at this region ID look at this no repetitive values but you have country ID repetitive values but the corresponding values are not same which are different isn't it now look at this when I execute these two tables tell me guys what is the common column country ID do you agree with me yes you have country ID so country ID in country table one indicating USA so one in the sense USA so look at this in USA you have so many regions and each and every region is having their unique ID so what is the common column country ID so country ID in country table becomes a primary key and country ID in region table is becoming foreign key where it might have repetitive values but the corresponding relevant values are different with the other opposite columns okay the same logic applicable even our W desktop level also because whenever I am going to add any respective tables from the respective sources this source could be RDBMS database or like Oracle Teradata SQL server okay uh, um, DB2 or else uh, we have HP NeoView database what not for all those RDBMS database and even even if it is XLS data source also this logic okay is going to be applicable okay now look at this so when I add a particular table this is the corresponding columns okay now look at this guys always a report will have a consolidated data okay for example let's say I have a report example okay I have a W report W table. now look at this so in these tables now look at this what you have see inner join left outer join guys yesterday we have discussed about this connection now this is the time to discuss about this one okay see left outer join look at the data see when I perform left the output is something different okay right so what it performs basically right now to generate this kind of a consolidated report okay hmm? to generate a consolidated reports we should have to deal with this types of joints okay you got me guys now now you can ask me a purpose you can ask me a question why these joints are helpful before that look at this joints are helpful okay joints are helpful to perform to fetch or retrieve retrieve the data joints are helpful to fetch or retrieve the data from respective data sources okay from respective data sources into reports okay so into report in the sense our w report here that is what i'm going to say into worksheet i can say see this worksheet okay now right guys so these joints are compulsion 
the existence of the joints whenever you are trying to perform okay between the sources of a data the joints are compulsory okay yes the joints are compulsory now look at this now this is the example i'm putting it in excel okay now look at this so this is the sample table this is a table called sibling table and this is eye color table okay guys i am putting very in a simple format for your better understanding so that is the reason i am putting this kind of a documentation okay siblings table okay and eye color table right now siblings siblings table is having what kind of a data look at this two two columns column one is name column two is number of siblings see look at this name and this one fine now when you perform the inner join okay inner join inner join in the sense inner join retrieves okay inner join retrieves the common values of common columns between the two tables common values of common columns okay common values of common columns but this is the report river requirement look at this name from sibling table number of siblings from sibling table i color from i color table so in between these two tables in between siblings and i color tell me guys what is the common column you have name now look at this so as i'm saying inner join retrieves common values of common columns between the two tables now tell me what is the common column name okay now tell me what is the common values adam and tyler so adam is having how many siblings two siblings see and tyler is having three siblings fine and what is the corresponding eye color look at this blue and brown now you can ask me question then why what about ganesh because ganesh value is not common between these two tables so inner join retrieves common values of common columns between the two tables so this is the proof okay of course uh, you know over here in your tablet desktop I'm, i i might have taken number of siblings from the i color table also so that is the reason okay see but in fact next one is left outer join okay next one is what left outer join so this left outer join left outer join is going to pull the whole data from the left side table okay whole data from the left side table along with the okay along with the common values of common columns of the opposite side table look at this left outer join retrieves the whole data of a left side table along with the common values of the common columns of the right side table now look at this what is the left side table here siblings so you have all the fields from the sibling table look at this fine okay and all the corresponding this one then common values what are the common values adam and tyler are the column values between two tables right so that is the reason it is giving two i colors of this but then but for the james and sheena look at this you don't have a common values of the right side table that is nothing but i color table so that is the reason it is giving null values so what does it mean left outer join retrieves the whole data of a left side table okay along with the common values of common columns and if you don't have a matching data it gives you null values 
it gives what null values okay look at this if I go ahead with the left outer join what happened null values because Ganesh and Brown is not having any relevant values in the opposite side table so that is the reason okay that is the reason okay guys what could be the behavior so it is quite opposite to left outer join okay left outer join do performs what it retrieves the whole data of a left side table along with the common values of common columns in case if you don't have a matching data it gives null values right now it is quite opposite to the left outer join right outer join is quite opposite to the right this one okay now look at this right outer join retrieves the whole data of a right side table the whole data of a right side table okay along with the common values of common columns of left side table in case if you don't have a matching data it will give you null values okay say look at this the whole data of a right side table okay right and see here it is eye color and number of siblings Something. okay now look at the behavior isn't it so the whole data of the right side table okay now look at this so what is the common value Adam and Tyler in the left side table so that is the reason it is giving 2 and 3 then how about Ganesh Ganesh is not available in the left side table so that is the reason you have a null value right so this is the functionality right guys then how about full outer join full outer join okay so full outer join basically performs whether it is common or uncommon okay full outer join gives all the data from both the tables whether it is common or uncommon so this is output say look at this you have all the table all the data from both left side table as well as the right side table look at this Adam to Sheena as well as Ganesh look at this and corresponding value and if you don't have matching values definitely will give you null values null records okay we get Cartesian, Cartesian. Cartesian results nothing but not duplicates okay multiplications of a data of course sometimes based upon the number of rows you might have two value I mean multiple values also but most of the times you have Cartesian results so that is the reason mostly we won't use full outer join but if the situation is demanding definitely we'll be using it in a particular in a specific way but most of the cases we'll be using left right and inner joints okay guys now okay it's a crucial role look at this let's say you have a dashboard example w dashboard okay so someone is said that this value is wrong or something they said that the 2012 data is totally wrong tell me how are you going to validate the data the first first primary focus that you need to do is the type of a join that what you are using okay the type of a join what type of a join which are being incorporated that is what we should aware of okay any reporting element okay in case if they are using SQL is the backend yes you need to be thoroughful with those SQL queries and these SQL queries you is required during the W desktop customizations because I am going to touch blaze okay a concepts called calculation fields okay whenever I am going to deal with the calculation fields I am going to use this kind of a SQL functionalities like if then else look at this of course they will give you an inbuilt functionality but that's fine look at this look up functionality okay okay month difference between the months percentage okay see all these SQL functionalities square root okay see plenty of stuff you have so that is the reason I am requesting you again and again to be thoroughful with the SQL queries my next session firstly 
we should be in a position to identify the naming conventions of our data source elements as i said what kind of a data sources we have guys data elements i mean say reporting elements okay the reporting elements what we have textual dimensions textual dimension in the sense look at this wherever you see this abc symbol okay see what is this this abc symbol for example segment see this abc is nothing but your textual dimension where it consists descriptive data descriptive descriptive data this is called as textual dimension okay and the globe symbol you are seeing here right this is what called as geographical dimension okay country geographical dimension okay geographical dimension and and over here you are seeing this right ship date order date with a calendar symbol okay if you are seeing with a calendar symbol look at this okay with a calendar symbol okay that is what what is that date dimension date dimension okay and look at that icon now we have also one more reporting element called date and time dimension what is that date and time dimension so that date and time dimension are you able to see anywhere over here no now look at this select right click okay wherever you see calendar with a clock symbol calendar with a clock symbol that is what called date and okay date and time dimension okay look at the differences and wherever you see this ash symbol that indicates about measures that indicates about measurable elements okay guys okay guys now so these measures will have some properties like you know uh, continuous values discrete values all those things okay i am going to see discrete values and continuous values everything okay because we have different types of charts like dual chart combo chart okay look at this we have axis right i said individual axis we have blended axis we have dual axis we have okay so to do to deal with that you should be in a position to identify okay what is meant by discrete value okay what is meant by continuous value all those things you should be in a position to understand that okay and i'm going to touch base with what is this headers okay and what sort of how we can convert these reporting different different structures how we can able to achieve what are the filter criteria to deal with the any graphing see to deal with any map functionalities what is the mandatory element we should have what is this longitude okay everything i'm going to touch base message okay so this is what so tomorrow first off i'm going to touch base with the axis because we have blended axis dual axis polygon axis plenty of stuff so that is what but before proceeding with my next session i request every one of you to be i mean to count of that the sequel joins without failure you should be in a position to understand the type of a nature of the data behavior what you are getting here how you get this data are you performing with a inner join left outer join or right outer join something you should have that knowledge okay and if you have any doubts you can refer this sheet it's sheet itself see look at this whatever you are seeing here right this is the data i mean to say this is order table location table product table okay data subsets tables are being called as what these folders are nothing but tables guys these tables are nothing but data subsets that is what i think i already explained you with that right so you are going to work with all those things from now onwards okay guys